Hey YouTube, Nick the Smoking Irishman here. Uh, I smoked a whole bunch this weekend, so I'm not smoking a whole lot today. I did smoke a little bit earlier, but now I'm getting ready to go to bed, and I'm vaping before I go to bed. If anybody cares about that, I am vaping on my E-Leaf iStick 30 watt with a Kanger Sub Tank Mini. And inside of here, I am vaping Skittles with a Z. Uh, I can I can say that I have not bought a pack of cigarettes in two weeks, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, today, um, I just got done doing the research. I didn't get a chance to do it this weekend like how I planned, but today starts a the first in my new daily series that I'm hoping uh, called Today in History. So, I'm going to tell you about five things. Of course, lots of other things happened, but five things as my research that I found that I thought was kind of interesting. Um, some of them I'm, I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about because I don't want the, the, the video to be forever long. So I've decided the ones that I thought were kind of important, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about, and ones that I didn't, that I myself didn't think were important, but were still kind of interesting. I'm just going to tell you about them real quickly. Uh, I'll tell you, in kind of a way to cite it, all of this information I researched on History.com, basically the History Channel. So, let's get started. Today, June 29th, in 1613... The Globe Theater burned. The theater where most of Shakespeare's plays were performed burned down. The theater was built by Shakespeare's acting company, the Lord, Lord, the Lord Chamberlain's Men, in 1599. Uh, today, in 1776, South Carolina's Edward Rutledge opposed independence. In 1776, Rutledge, one of South Carolina's representatives to the Continental Congress in Philadelphia, expressed his reluctance to declare independence from England in a letter to like-minded John Jay of New York. Just like New York, mess everything up. Sorry, sorry all you New York people. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Contrary to the majority of his, of his congressional colleagues, Rutledge uh, advocated for patience with regards to declaring independence. However, on the day of the vote, Jay had business in New York and was not and could not be there. So it fell to Rutledge to sign the Declaration of Independence to create the appearance of solidarity to strengthen the, par the Patriots stand. At the age of 26, he was the youngest American to sign the Declaration of Independence. Uh, in 1862, rebels attacked Yankees at the Battle of Savages Station. On this day in 1862, at the Battle of Savages Station in Virginia, Confederate General Robert E. Lee attacked Union General George McCullen as he was pulling his troops away from Richmond. Although the Yankees lost a thousand men, twice as many as the rebels, they were able to successfully protect the retreat. In 19... Ooh, let me find my notes. Hang on just a second. I can't read what I wrote. That's kind of bad when you can't read your own writing. Uh, let me look it up on the computer or my tablet that I was looking at. So, this is very unprepared, isn't it? Uh, give me just a second. I'm sorry. This is terrible. This is terrible. I think it was 1967. I can't find it right now. I'm pretty sure it was 1967. Blonde bombshell actress Jane Mansfield is killed instantly when the car she's riding in strikes the rear of a semi on Interstate 90, east of New Orleans. And then finally, uh, in 1995, Space Dot... Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Space Shuttle Atlantis docks with Russian space station Mir to become the largest satellite to orbit the Earth. So, I didn't want to make it too long. I, this is the first one. If you guys want more information and and whatnot, uh, let me know. I'm going to try to do this every day. I've got it all planned out for this week, at least till Friday. Uh, I'd like to be able to do it every day. Because I think history is something that's kind of important, especially for us to know our history and what we learned and everything like that from it. Um, so, let me know what you guys think about this as today in history uh, is what's going on. Um, if you want me to spend a little more time on everything, if you want me to do something different, uh, let me know. I think it's important, though. Um... Seems like I had something else. Oh, tomorrow is my movie night. And I have no votes for the four movies that I gave you guys to pick for me to watch tomorrow night. So let me know what movie, you know, even if I get one vote, somebody go watch that that uh, review of Crappy, I mean, Chappy. And uh, at the end of that, I'm talking about uh, what four, I was going to pick three, but when I was, I was looking at the flyer for the movies, I, four I was pretty interested in. Uh, so I picked four out of the flyer for you guys to pick one. Uh, whoever, whichever one gets the most votes. I will watch tomorrow night, and then tomorrow night before I go to bed, I'll do a review on it. And so it'll be there tomorrow night for you night owls, and it will be there Wednesday morning for everybody else. So if you want to watch a movie this weekend, which probably you don't want to watch a movie this weekend, you probably got things going on in your town for 4th of July. But if you were to want to watch, watch, watch a movie, then I will have reviewed it, whatever movie it was that you picked. And you'll have an idea, if, at least if I think it's a good movie. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, so that's my Today in History, June 29th. So, I have one planned for tomorrow, and then all the way to Friday. Of course, everybody knows what 4th of July is. I'm not trying to make that a kind of a special one, but... So, yeah, I don't have too much. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Pipes are put away for the night. Got my vape out. So, now I'm rambling, so I'll let you go. And as always, wherever you go, whatever you do, may the luck of the Irish be there with you. Thanks a lot, guys.